It was back on July 22nd when two people were killed here on the Danforth and 13 others were injured. After a mass shooting, 32 year old Danielle Kane was one of the victims who survived. Now, she's a nursing student and she was actually helping out other people at the time of the chaos when she was shot. And even though it was a very dark night, she's looking forward to a very bright future in 2019. We went out there and literally, you know, I took one, maybe two steps and I made eye contact with someone across the street who, you know, had his arms down and all of a sudden I like his arms came up and there was a bright red flash and the sound of a gun. And I thought, oh God, like that's him. So I turned quickly and the bullet hit me in my chest. And so I felt in the doorway of the restaurant. She spent three months in the hospital and is now paralyzed from the waist down. But that dark night is in the past. She's now looking forward to 2019 and she appreciates the smaller things in life. Her positive attitude goes without saying. Basically, I just want to have the life, like as close to the life I had before as I do now. So, um, you know, just being able to uh, go out down the street without needing someone to accompany me because like I'm worried about getting stuck in a curb like in a curb crack or something like that. Danielle has the support from her boyfriend Jerry who was with her that night and he agrees you have to be positive. It's formed us with more stronger bond uh, and it's we're not looking at it at all the negative sides of what's going happening in 19. We look like we still have a full life, a lot to look forward to. Danielle is looking forward to returning to nursing school in the fall and plans on learning how to drive again in the spring. Independence is like the name of the game, you know, and um, just with every new task that I can do on my own again, it's, it's a boost for me and it kind of just pushes me to keep going. And Danielle is currently undergoing physiotherapy. She tells me she's not only looking forward to going back to school in September, she's very much looking forward to a summer internship. So lots for her to look forward to in 2019.